Welcome to Blue Box PHP tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at displaying our data boxes as card or layout or product views as an alternative to table view. So the first thing we do is select our demo project. This is our jewelry shop project. Select the index box, uh, the index page and rebuild it. So we can see we have our jewelry data box inside our content but it's displaying as a table view and what we want to do is display this as a card view for the individual products with a Google cart button and images. Okay so the first thing we do is open our jewelry database table and select our data box. This is the current view that we're using, which is a table view, but we're, out, we're now going to select the Layout tab. And the Layout tab gives us a number of different templates that we can use to display our products. These are just the ones on my machine. There's more that you can find on blueboxphp.com. But we're going to now, we're going to use this layout design along with the pink styling that we're currently using on our jewelry page. Now you can see here there's a list of fields that our layout is expecting and what we need to do is map our database items to the actual fields so that where we have the product field we'll use the image uh, database item, jewelry database item and that then will map the image item into the, fo the product photo field in the layout. So for this one we select image. This only allows you to select image types and we only have one image type in this data box. We can do an, uh, an alt for the image which we'll, we won't bother with that. We can do an image title and we'll just uh, display the code for that. We need a product description so we'll map description field to it, product code, we'll set the product code, price, we'll set the price, add to cart, well, add to cart is going to be our Google button item, it's here, the Google button, and our product link, product link is there to show the detail, and we select our detail item, and this is the item, detail item here in our data box that's mapped to our detail box. Now this list of fields is different for uh, each template. Some have image fields, some don't have image fields. Obviously, you know, not a, not every layout is going to require a price or an add to cart button. So, depending on the layout style that you use, uh, they may have different a different uh, field list to what we have here. So, so with our layout now selected. We'll rebuild our index page. Okay, so we've still got the view as, as a table. There's one other thing that we need to do. In our website index page, select in the box jewelry box, which is this data box here. We right click and select edit box. There's a, another tutorial which explains all the usage of this uh, box editor, which can be found by selecting this. But for this uh, tutorial, we just worry, we just want to know about this one selector, which is display as table. So we want to unselect display as table. This is telling the editor to display the products as in the card product view and not in table view. So selecting OK, we now rebuild our index page. OK, so we now see our products as layout styles. In the card view we selected. If we now go and select the data box again and select the layout tab, on the right hand column are a list of customizable items that we can change within within the layout. The one that I'm particularly interested at the moment is if we go back to the browser view is to remove this pink from between the cards. So this is the div background color. At the moment it's set to a pink. I'm just going to set it to a white and rebuild the index page. 
Okay, that looks a little bit better. We've removed the pink. We now have the white. Going back to the box editor again. These customizable fields will be different depending on which template that you select. At the moment, we're showing currency in US dollar. If we just look at the browser again, so we can easily change this to sterling by ampersand pound. We now have the sterling British pound sign in front of the prices. Okay, so that concludes this short tutorial on displaying your data as a layout or card view.